Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for in-depth analysis and commentary on news shaping the Asian region. Today, we delve into the recent development involving the resignation of former Minister for Transport, Essa Swearin, and the subsequent charges brought against him. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get the conversation going in the comments below. In two heartfelt letters addressed to Prime Minister Li Xinlong, dated January 16 and January 17, 2024, S. Swearin conveyed his decision to resign as a cabinet minister, member of parliament for the West Coast Group representative constituency, and as a member of the People's Action Party, PAP, with immediate effect. The catalyst for this decision was the charges brought against him by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, CPIB, on various offenses. Iswaran, who vehemently rejects the allegations, expressed his commitment to focus on clearing his name amidst the ongoing investigations. His first letter thanked the Prime Minister for the privilege of serving the people of Singapore, reflecting a sense of responsibility even in the face of adversity. In a subsequent letter dated January 17, Iswaran went above and beyond, informing PM Lee that he would be returning all ministerial salary and MP allowances received from July 2023, when the investigations commenced. This decision, though not mandated, is a testament to Iswaran's commitment to the principles of integrity and accountability. PM Lee, in his response dated January 17, 2024, acknowledged Iswaran's resignation and expressed disappointment and sadness over the circumstances. He accepted Iswaran's decision to return all monies received during the investigation period, emphasizing the importance of dealing with such matters rigorously in accordance with the law to uphold the integrity of the party and the government. The background of the case reveals that Iswaran had been interdicted from duty and received reduced pay as he was under investigation by CPIB. The charges, filed on January 18, 2024, allege corruption involving over 160,000 Singapore dollars from Hotel Yerong Beng Seng. Iswaran is accused of accepting these funds to advance Ong's business interests in a Singapore Grand Prix contract with the Singapore Tourism Board. Additionally, he faces 24 charges of accepting valuable items from Ong while he was a public servant. The items, worth over 218,000 Singapore dollars, include Singapore Grand Prix tickets and span from November 2015 to December 2021. Iswaran also faces one charge of obstructing justice in May 2023. Despite the charges, Iswaran has pleaded not guilty, and a pre-trial conference is scheduled for March 1, 2024. His current bail stands at 800,000 Singapore dollars. This development raises important questions about the integrity of political figures and the need for robust accountability measures. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe Iswaran's decision to resign and return the monies is a step in the right direction? Let's discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on crucial developments in the Asian region. This is 2230, signing off.